Hey YouTube, uh, I'm doing a little tutorial on uh, Mixcraft. You know, they're kind of all the same. This one's Mixcraft 6. This is a trial version, it's not registered. I'm just doing it to help you guys out. I used to work on Mixcraft 5 a lot. I use Ableton Live now, but just figured I'd give a little quick tips on this. So, I do a lot of recording, listen to a lot of rap, hip hop, you know, beats type stuff like that. So, First thing I want to show you guys is, say you get a beat off YouTube or you know any place you downloaded it, you got it in a file or iTunes. You can simply in iTunes or from a file, click it, drag it right over. Simple. Just drag it all the way to the end. You know, make sure it's playing obviously, which it is. Now you can click here. Alright, so it's all sounding alright. So that's a good thing. What I like to do, because right now, sometimes it, start, it starts off in snap, snap note, like eights, you know, any of this. I don't like that, because it snaps these little bars right here. It snaps over. I don't like that. All you got to do is go up to your notes, snap off. That's going to make it so you can slide to anywhere you want. You know? And uh, also, with the time and beats, I like to have the time. You know, I do a lot of recording. I like to know how much time I got left things like that pretty simple all right next step there's something that's really easy too say you're at a part and you're fixing it or listening all you gotta do is click on it and you can actually use your mouse and scroll in or back you know just little simple tips things like that if you don't know if you're just starting out also something that really helped me a lot that took me a little bit to figure out uh, say if you're doing some writing you gotta keep going over this one part in the beat, like right in the beginning. You just gotta get it right. You just gotta keep listening to it. You know, it gets annoying to keep, you know, pressing backs, things like that. So you can actually take your mouse and, you know, hold it down, drag to where you want it, right, right click, press loop playback mode, and that right there, it's giving you a, a creative loop. So it's gonna start here and end here and that's gonna play back back and forth so you don't gotta keep restarting it. See? Yep. Make sure it's working. Should. Alright, see? Just keeps going back and forth. Which is pretty cool, helpful tip. And if you're done with that, you know, simply just right click on the top. Unclick that. That's back to normal. Alright. Next thing. Uh you know recording you know, if you don't know this, yeah, you know, I don't know. You need some other help, but all you got to do is click arm, press record, boom, and it's just start going. I don't have a mic or anything set up right now. But I'm just showing you guys some simple things starting out. That's that, but uh, I'm done with uh, a track. Well, not done, but I got something recorded already. So, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Oh, I don't want to save my changes. There we go. Make sure it's working. Scroll in. See if it's working. You think money can't buy love? Put the bitch in a design address. Put the stick into the text. Cause she ain't happy washing dishes. She can stick to the wishes. Alright, so that's working. Uh, one tip I got with this. This one is, this is just like an overdub type of thing. It's an exact duplicate of this. All I did was right click on this. And, oh no, sorry. On this on this side right click on that and where the hell is it why am I losing my mind where, am I, where the hell's a duplicate oh there it is down there I was freaking can't read all right duplicate track and it's gonna make an exact copy of what you have without having to you know mess around do any of that bull and all I simply did is I panned one to the left one to the right. That's going to give you an equal full sound in your headphones. You know, one to your left side, one to your right side. You can do it again. Put one in the middle, one on the right, one on the left. You know, it gives you some sound. You know, you got to mess with things. You'll get used to it. And uh, say when, um, say you're recording and you don't like a part. Like all of this, like say you record this much and you really like it, but this part sucks. All you got to do, you're going to get this out of your mic simple. Yeah, 
think my computer just froze. All right, what the fuck, man? It's not how it's not loving me today. All right, you're gonna click here. Say so you're in a spot that you don't like. You're just gonna click on it, and all you gotta do is click split, and you can take that part completely out just by scrolling it. And then you could just you can open a new track and arm it and record down here to mess with it or in the same one you can just arm it and record right over this into that verse you know and then all you do is just blend it in so it's pretty pretty simple stuff um let's see what else you get into what else can I teach you guys so some quick tricks you know um let's see yeah, my computer is fucking messing me up right now Alright, uh, shoot. All right. Say when you're in effects. All your effects, for your, say, you want to do effects just on this one? You know, you just click on that effects. You know, you got your EQ, which is right here. You got all the custom settings for it, or you can do a custom. If you want to do a custom, that's how it should be, that's great. I want to tell you all the way to the left right here. This is, this is almost like, like your bass, your real low. Your, your vocals, they don't give off that. You want to bring these all the way down. You don't want your pops and bees and crap like that. You know, you got pop filters for that for a reason. You know, all the rest of this, you got your headphones on, studio monitors. You know, just listen to it so you get it right, till you like it. Same with, you know, reverb, all that. You got all that. Compressors. You know, it's all right here. You got your chorus, compressors, delays. You know, it's going to echoes. Distortion. I don't know who the fuck wants a distortion, but you know, whatever. You got your EQs, reverb, all that. Alright. And uh, these, these top ones up here, these are pretty simple ones, like I showed you before. Like it's just, it's just the simple normal bars. When you start getting into this down here, that's usually when it, when it gets more complicated. Hopefully it'll freeze here. Alright, yeah. This is when it gets more complicated, when you get to start actually messing with everything. I don't know if you know what's going on yet to be involved with all this, but, you know, it's there. Get to learn it. That's the best way to do things is learn and do it. Now, that's how I learned all of this program. I've been to school for this. Um, let's see. What else do we got? Uh, you know, when you got both those uh, duplicate tracks, I'll duplicate that again. second all right so you got both of these this one's your left side this one's your right side um, you know you can usually right click there's usually a color box where you can change the colors I don't think I'm not sure if I get it oh yes I do it's in uh, properties over here you know you can change your colors green yellow all that you know what I mean pretty simple stuff actually I'll do it just to make sure it's working Changes that blue. Um, also, you got a, you got a couple other things over here. You know the height of the track, large. You can make one bigger. Things like that. Another thing that used to bug me down in this corner right here. There's a plus and a minus sign usually. That plus brings everything up. Just that one track that you're clicked on, it's gonna bring it up. This, no, it's gonna do that. So. You know, it's got all your mixers over here for all your, um, this is track one, track two, three, four, you know, all your panning, stuff like that. It's just a bigger view of what's over here, a little more, more into it. And all you do is to close it, just do this. I like having a close, you know, I like being able to see what's going on in my track, which is a good thing. Um, <clears throat> what else? Oh, yeah, um, and make sure... Freezing up again. Look at me loading <laughs> back in the old times. Alright, and when you're over here, say you're doing all this, um, you know, when you're doing effects for a track, you want to make sure 